Uh, our third video in the series is Iron Gate with the cloak. Uh, we'll see you again. Very, very similar actions, um, very similar to going with Stretta, and a few slightly different things because we are starting right at the center as opposed to uh, off center. So we are in Portigar Stretta. Amantrido comes in. If they're standing to my left, to my inside, we come in. We can either Punta Reversa, Reverso to Thai, get out. Just like in Cordoba, we could also just go directly to a Mandri to, to the thigh, if that is available based on the height of their cloak, and get out. Or we could also give a stoccata to their flank. So this as opposed to this. We can also just use face guard because that's a, a great option as always. And have the weapons together. Anytime Madrido comes low, we just pull the balloon leg out of the way. And thrust. Again, with the assumption that I'm leeching out, I feel nothing. So I pull that leg back. Reverso, we see the same thing. We're gonna use our left foot going to their left. And I'm going to be doing first option here is the reverse of the leg. My second option is a punta reverso to the chest, or thrust to the chest. So here, I'm going to step across. As we're obstructing their vision, we're hitting them in the right thigh. So we're here, we step across, cut to the thigh, or make that thrust. Again, making sure I'm not messing up my and positions not interfering with my thrust. So I gotta make sure that I am high enough with this so it doesn't interfere, it doesn't weigh down my sword. We can also use our time tested mezzo diverso defense. So we step to the side. This is here, so it goes directly into the imbrocata. Reverse with the leg. The other time tested Ridopio and the Contra combination. And if I was treating this as being uh, trying to do counter thrust, reach out and throw it, nothing, pull the leg back, but stay in measure. As for thrusts, it's an, an imbrocata. We're going to step to the right, come up underneath and thrust with the Ocata on our own. Or we can use the overhand reverso. Uh, because of the way, how long this is, in Sword Dagger we could do underhand, but here we have to do overhand because if I try to go underneath the weapon, I'm gonna get caught up. So it's important that as I'm doing this is that uh, I'm raising my hand my right hand before my left hand goes over. So it's a little bit of a right hand, left hand. So I got caught there myself, let me try it again. So I raise it up, step around, cut to the right side of the head. Finally, we have the stoccata. The most obvious response is just to use entry guard, thrust to the chest. And then we're gonna get out of there. Or we can still do the outside slip because Iron Gates and the Iron Gate guards can do that. So same thing, I want to bring this up and then guide it with my left hand. So right hand is gonna slightly precede the left hand in terms of action here. And that covers Iron Gate, the right foot forward.